Good morning, Hoban, and welcome to Catholic Schools Week and Holy Cross Celebration. This week, we celebrate Catholic Schools Week with a tradition called a Holy Cross Celebration. This is a week to celebrate the Hoban family as we reflect on our Catholic identity through the lens of our Holy Cross core values. Our core value this school year is excellence. Excellence is characterized by formation and transformation and empowers us to do all that we can do to the best of our abilities. We put our best work into all that we can do so that we can positively influence the future. To recognize excellence means we recognize that learning can take place in many different places in ways that we are all called to be lifelong learners in both matters of the heart and the mind. This week, we will dedicate each day to exploring excellence from a new perspective, excellence in history and educating the heart and mind and faith and service in our community and in our spirit. We hope you have a great week as we celebrate together as a Hoban family. We must study the details of Jesus' life and know the love which inclined him to act. We must be filled with the spirit of Jesus' example. Blessed Basil Moreau. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Gracious God, your providence is ever at work for the good of all peoples and nations. You inspired Jacques de Jarrier to found the Brothers of St. Joseph, as a force for good and channel of grace in the world. As a model and by his message, Father Dujarier called the brothers to sanctify themselves, to be zealous for the salvation of others, and to acquire the spirit of Christ. This is our heritage. Living this heritage requires that we always walk ahead until we are in the possession of the glory of God. May our lives as models and messages invite others to follow Christ and to live as Christ lived, to love as he loved, and to serve others with courage and conviction. May we live with such integrity that we too will be among those to whom the Lord promised eternal life because of our fidelity to the end. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hello, Hoban family. This is Mr. Yanko talking to you from my kitchen. I've been homebound for the last uh, few weeks. Uh, I had some surgery and uh, everything went well and I'm feeling better all the time. And I'm looking forward to um, coming back and seeing my students and <clears throat> fellow faculty uh, sometime in the next uh, couple of weeks. I'm pleased to be able to talk to you today about uh, uh, linking uh, the, uh, the Holy Cross brothers with my uh, love of history. And going back uh, uh, and talking about uh, the, uh, the founding of the Holy Cross brothers and the difficult time in which it occurred. France had been going through some uh, a, a very tumultuous time, uh, starting in 1789 with the French Revolution. For the next 10 years, uh, it was very difficult, and uh, uh, the next 15 years after that with Napoleon weren't much better. In 1830, there were more revolutions in France, and uh, 1848 saw more of the same. So it's in this atmosphere that the founders, including Basil Moreau, looked for inspiration from God, and tried to uh, bring about a, an educational system that would be able to uh, nurture the hearts and minds of students, which was much needed, needed at the time, and bring hope to others, which of course uh, was uh, the people of France desperately needed. So, <clears throat> Blessed, Blessed Basil Moreau uh, came up with a formula for success <clears throat> that uh, uh, became uh, uh, tried and true, and uh, we, we listen to his words uh, frequently th in the morning announcements. I hope you can take them to heart, because certainly I did. Um, fast forward to the 1960s, also a tumultuous time. It was a time of the civil rights movement, a time of assassinations, a time of the Vietnam War. And there I was, <clears throat> a Hoban, uh, Hoban student, and uh, uh, trying to do the best I could uh, under difficult circumstances. I was growing up, I was a teenager, which is difficult enough as it is. I can remember a couple of instances that were very important. In my sophomore year in Latin class, 
my teacher was Brother Theophilus. He was a stern taskmaster and uh, didn't mess around. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I did. One day he took me aside after class and said, Robbie, when are you going to start living up to your potential? And uh, at first I thought to myself, uh, what are you talking about? I have earned a solid C plus in Latin and uh, uh, you expect more of me. And, uh, but I took it to heart. It, it kind of hit me like a thunderbolt. And pretty soon I uh, thought, okay, uh, uh, you win, Brother Theophilus. I'll start working a little harder. Well, I did. And uh, pretty soon I was uh, impressing my friends and family by saying things like, Vene vi di vici. And so all of a sudden I was well on my way to being so very multilingual. Well, I applied myself a little bit more in algebra class at this time as well. And uh, uh, for the first time, I figured out what X equaled. I was pretty proud of that. Uh, not, so, not so good with Y, but uh, I thought uh, X uh, uh, makes a good start. My junior year, uh, one, of the, um, one of my teachers was Brother Robert, who still teaches at uh, Gilmore Academy. And <clears throat> I was working on a project with him, and I had a presentation I was going to give and uh, sharing some ideas with Brother Robert. And uh, uh, after, uh, uh, during one of these dis discussions, um, he said, Robbie, you know, your mind works differently than others. Uh, you've got a way of expressing yourself uh, that's, uh, that's unique. Uh, some of the ways you explain things, I've never heard it spoken quite like that before. You've got a gift. And I thought, I thought to myself, me, I've got a gift. And uh, um, because, of, because of the gentle nurturing of those two brothers <clears throat> and others, pretty soon I realized that uh, I, I wasn't any longer like a raft in the middle of an endless ocean, buffeted by the tides and currents and uh, winds with, with no direction. <clears throat> I started to realize that maybe I had uh, the ability to chart my own destiny. Well, <clears throat> fast forward to today. Again, we live in, in tumultuous times. But the Brothers of Holy Cross, to me and hopefully to you, have shown you that they have provided with you uh, for you a formula for success. The teachers and administrators here <clears throat> understand that formula for success and are trying to gently nurture you along <clears throat> and uh, instructing your hearts and minds and trying to uh, encourage in you a sense of hope. So <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the spirit of bringing hope to you, uh, it is my honor to say to you today, I hope you find you are living up to your ability. And if you're not, maybe it's time to consider that. I hope you realize you have some gifts. You're not adrift on an endless ocean. Maybe it's time to think of grabbing an oar or setting your sails or starting your engines and start making your own history. So, boys and girls, in this week, I salute you and say, I miss you. I can't wait to get back to see you. And I'll quote from the alma mater, building upon our history, which never is complete, we shall be true to you. <clears throat>